a major health problem in this country, one that affects us all and can even make you sick. And we're talking about stress. It's been proven to cause or worsen a number of health problems from high blood pressure to heart disease to insomnia. It turns out Americans are now experiencing the highest levels of stress, anger and worry in a decade. Between work and school and the pressure to succeed, many students are struggling, sometimes with tragic consequences. 55% of Americans say they experience stress a lot of the day. Health. If your body's at a continued heightened awareness, it's going to start taking a toll on your body, particularly your heart health, your digestive health, your mental health. Commuters here in Los Angeles spend up to 16 work days a year in traffic. The second I get here, I just go until the evening, uh, until night. There's, there's, there's some days where I'll get here at you know, first thing in the morning, and I won't be done until 2, 2 a.m. Stress is slowly killing you. It's, it's literally, it's killing you and everyone you know. It's shortening everyone's life expectancy unknowingly. Have you ever seen someone, maybe even your parents, that are so overwhelmed with their job, with their life, that it almost debilitates them? Have you ever bitten off more than you can chew when your workload is too much to the point where you can't even focus? This pressure to be successful, to beat expectations, to meet expectations of yourself. If you are human, you 100% have felt this. You can be the most successful human on earth, but if you are still a slave to stress, you are still in the rat race. The thing that keeps everyone stuck in the matrix and a slave to the system is stress. A majority of stress comes from money. And how fucking crazy is that a majority of stress comes from something that's an illusion that only has value because it's perceived to have value. The point of this video is to bring awareness to the fact that stress is literally ruining our society. It's keeping everyone in a low vibration, low energy, where they don't have energy to give. It's weakening your immune system, your respiratory system. It literally destroys your body. I'll put some pictures right here so you can read these I and mean, the effects that stress has on your body. It's inflammatory, lowers your testosterone. It does all of these things that people are entirely unaware of because society has normalized stressing yourself the fuck out for this illusionary concept of money. I myself too am still in the rat race. I'm still in the matrix because I am working for money. Obviously, I am grateful that I have found a purpose and to be able to make money doing something that actually fulfills me and other people but I'm still a slave to the system because I'm working for money so that I can do things, create a better future for myself, provide for my family. I'm still in the rat race. Just because I have nice cars and I'm free doesn't mean I'm not in the rat race. And I was thinking about this the other day when I was driving down the highway. I saw I saw like a Maserati stuck in traffic with everyone else on the on the way to work, just like everyone else. And I was coming home from the beach. I was like, there is a lesson in that because People will look at this guy and see his car and they'll be like, wow, this guy's so successful, but he's still in the same traffic that people driving 2001 Honda Civics are, right? Like we're, we're, they call these things that you own golden shackles because you work so hard for them. They're super shiny to the public eye. They look great, but they end up owning you. The things you own end up owning you. So the moral of this message is to not overwhelm yourself in know what you need to do today to win the day that one thing two three four five things to win the day and do those things happily because you get to do these things if you are working a job you hate you have to constantly remind yourself that it's temporary and it's a stepping stone for me to get to where i want to be and be financially free and work for myself and if your goal isn't to work for yourself you have some serious self-reflection that you should do because why would you ever want to work for someone else when they can replace you any day of the fucking week yeah, maybe they have benefits and all this shit, but you don't need these benefits. They're a fucking scam. It's the bribe they give you to take away your freedom. And there's nothing more valuable than your freedom. Nothing. The whole reason why I started wanting to work for myself and started a TikTok is because I can't handle people telling me what to do and I want my life to be fun. I can't handle work looking at my schedule and being like, oh fuck, like I have to go to work or they're gonna get upset at me. I need to be my own boss. And I didn't care how much money I was making at first. I knew it was gonna be a slow process. I knew it was gonna take time. I knew I was gonna be making tens, twenties, thousands of dollars right when I started. But I was making it up to the point where I didn't have to clock in and out to some fucker that's banking off of my time. 
and neither should you. That's the last thing you should ever fucking want to do. Like when I first started, I was probably making like a thousand, two thousand dollars a month, and I thought it was fucking insane. My rent was four hundred. I was living way below my means. I was like paying four hundred dollars a month for rent, maybe three hundred dollars a month on groceries, tops, and I was living way below my means. And that was enough for me to wake up and do whatever the fuck I wanted to do every single day, eat well, put gas in my car. You don't need that much money to be financially free. I'm telling you, if you live below your means, you can be financially free. Not even necessarily financially free, but free from the fucking stress of a job that sucks balls. It takes time to build a business. It takes a lot of time to build yourself to become a person that's able to sustain a business, but it's the best investment in yourself and process that you can ever fucking make because we have one life life is way too short to be slaving for someone that doesn't appreciate us and value us like we value our own time my girlfriend just worked 30 hours and got paid 350 dollars if i put 30 hours of labor into my job i would probably make 10 20 30 40 thousand dollars just because i've built the foundation to my business at this point and i'm sitting here i'm like dude i can't even fucking imagine getting paid that much for my time. Your time is way more valuable than that. Maybe you, I would say maybe your time is worth $13 a fucking minute, a second even, because time is so precious. It's finite. You can't get this shit back ever. You can always get money. Money is infinite. Once you realize how abundant the world is and that money goes on forever and there is no limit to how much you can have, it comes to you a lot more freely because everyone has money. Everyone wants to spend money. Why aren't you making any money? Money is literally just a thing to basically measure a value exchange. It is the measure of ex value exchange. So if you provide something of value, you get this imaginary digit on your phone that is equivalent to the value of the thing that you provided and then some. You just need to be prov providing value. That's all you need to be fucking doing, really. That's all my intentions have ever been. And money comes in so fucking naturally where I'll wake up and I'm like, oh shit, I made 800 bucks today. In my sleep. In my sleep, bro. Because I took the time where I wasn't making jack shit and built the foundation of my business so that I could have that. And I had a 1.4 GPA in high school just because I couldn't handle what people telling me what to do. I've told you guys this. Just to show you guys that it doesn't fucking matter who you are. If you are... 100% in the game and you go all in on something, there's no reason why you won't succeed. There's a fucking pachillion opportunities to make money on the internet and people are slaving, doing fucking construction, killing their body, stressed about their schedule. When I just made like $7,000 on a fucking meme coin called Top G. I almost made 30, but I didn't sell it. On a meme coin, guys. Opportunities are everywhere. You're just spending too much time scrolling. I'm going to be fully fucking honest. Too much time scrolling, not enough time meditating, thinking, what the fuck do I want to do? Who do I want to serve? But don't stress out about that because this whole video is about stress. Do not stress out about fucking anything because nothing is worth your stress. And all it takes is you getting in a meditative, meditative state. Just no noise at all. You hear that right now around you? Other than my voice, I'm hoping it's silence. You know, in the book, The Power of the Subconscious Mind, it talks about how your subconscious is all-knowing. Your subconscious knows what you need to do. Your subconscious knows how you're going to make money. It knows who you want to serve. But you haven't given your subconscious enough time to freely auto-suggest because you are always stimulating yourself with YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, TV, your friends. You have to give your sub like. You have to give your subconscious time to run free. And breathe through your nose. The moral of this message is so that you can become intensely mindful of whenever you feel yourself getting stressed and tell yourself whatever it is you're stressing about is not significant enough for you to sacrifice your health. Because that's what happened. That's what's happening when you're stressed out. You are sacrificing your health, your well-being, your vibrational state, which determines everything that comes into your life. 
is being sacrificed. This is a very serious video because I'm very passionate that I think life is meant to be enjoyed and abundant rather than spending the whole fucking time stressing about chasing something that will never come because the only thing that's real is right now. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. 60% of my watchers aren't subscribed. So if you made it to this far in the video, please fucking drop a sub. Expect like, come on. That was, that was a valuable video. Drop a fucking sub, drop a like, drop a comment. I'm excited to see how you guys like this format of the video. Um, tried up something new and I got a new setup. Forgot to mention new fucking setup. What do you guys think about it? I would love to hear feedback. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for all your time, all your attention. I hope this video taught you something that you haven't heard before. Much love.